what's going on YouTube? Congratulations to Shakur Stevenson from uh, Newark, New Jersey. Uh, this 19-year-old uh, young man is complete, competing in the Olympics at Bantamweight. Now, he was supposed to fight uh, tomorrow, right? Um, what at, like 12.30? I'm not sure if it's Eastern Time or Central or whatever. But, um, you know, he's fighting in the, the, the 2016 Olympics in Rio, right? He's fighting at Bantamweight. He was supposed to be fighting the Russian versus uh name of uh Vladimir Nikitin. Right? He's supposed to be fighting Vladimir Nikitin, but Vladimir Nikitin, he drops out. Now Vladimir Nikitin got a controversial win over uh Irish uh native Michael Collin. Okay. He got a controversial win over Michael Collin. Now, with that being said, I didn't see the fight, right? I didn't see the fight. But um, this guy got bashed up. I'm looking at the pictures now, man. He got bashed up. It was a controversial victory for the Russian, Vladimir, right? And um, everybody, if you guys don't know, Michael Collin, he was kind of upset. You know, he was like, man, I bashed this dude up and I lost. And so when the uh, decision was read and the scores were read, you know, you know, he pointed at he gave all the judges and everybody the middle finger. You know, he gave them the bird. So, long story short, the uh, IABA went on. Um, I guess they reviewed a few fights and the controversial decisions that have been going on, especially after with Michael, the whole thing with Michael Collin. They went on and uh, fired a few judges or suspended them. Uh, I, it should be permanent. So, but anyway, they they dropped them from the Olympics. They didn't want them tainting uh, the rest of the Olympic Games. So what they ended up doing is they went up uh, sending a few judges home, uh, a few judges home, uh, in regards to some of these controversial decisions that have been coming up. Right? Excuse me, man. That that ad just popped up. <laughs> so anyway, man. Long story short, man. Shakur Stevenson. Will be fighting for a gold medal instead. He'll be fighting uh, the winner of, I believe, um, who who's these guys' names, man? Uzbekistan. Um, I can't even pronounce this guy's name. Uh, yeah, man, I, I can't pronounce these guys' name, man. So he he's gonna be fighting this Cuban guy or some guy from Uzbekistan. But um, he's faced one of those, um, the winner out of those two. And I guess they fight Saturday evening. So hopefully Shakur Stevenson can keep a low profile. He just signed with Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather was down there, has been out in Rio scouting out talent. And he said he's known, um, he's aware of Shakur Stevenson. He, you know, he's seen him at his gym. You know, he's seen him at his gym. He said he fights like a professional. Um, he saw a little bit of himself when um, when he sees Shakur Stevenson fighting. So he did the, you know, he he did the smart thing. He, he you know, he was down there. He signed him. Um, I read one headline <laughs> that Shakur Stevenson was listening to Floyd Mayweather and not his coaches in the corner. <laughs> I guess when he was fighting one fight, he was he was. Uh, giving his all undivided attention to, um, um, you know, the Floyd Mayweather and whatnot. And I think he, he, Floyd Mayweather knows the coach. I think it's Augie Sanchez or something like that who, um, who coaches. I don't know if he coaches exclusively, exclusively with Stevenson, but he's one of the uh, Olympic boxing coaches anyway. But, uh, yeah, man, long story short, man, I'm going to keep this short, man. Congratulations to Shakur Stevenson. I think it's well-deserved. Um, the Russian's excuse for dropping out, he said his face was all busted up, man. He said his face was all busted up, and he, he wasn't willing to uh, throw down Thursday. I guess that wasn't enough time to recuperate. His face didn't look so bad in the pictures, but then again, you know, I, I'm not him. Um, looks like he's re marked up really really bad and looking at this his ear on the picture uh he's got cauliflower on his ear and he's he had a cut on uh 
you know, the left eyebrow. So, anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I just had to get it out here. You know, I just had to get it out. The news out. All right, man. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.